Hey, what's up guys? Ken here from the Retro Toyscopates channel in Malaysia. And it's been a while since I've done one of these Jurassic World Toy Store Hunt videos that this channel has been famous for. In fact, I spent all of last month working on Masters of the Universe content, but I haven't forgotten our Jurassic World following either. Hey, you know what? Do Motu fans also like Jurassic World? I mean, let me know, okay? I mean, they're both based off retro properties, and there were dinosaurs in the original He-Man line too. And also, they're both from Mattel. Anyway, this massive, uh, super colossal Indominus Rex, it's been out online for quite some time, but this is the first time I'm actually seeing it on shelves. Um, and uh, you know what? I did get the super colossal T-Rex that came out before this, and there was a super colossal Velociraptor Blue, which I didn't want to get. And I heard that they may be doing the Carnotaurus next. But I gotta be honest, while I do like dinosaur toys and huge hulking monster toys, uh, this scale is maybe just a little bit too gigantic for my display shelf to support. Uh, by the way, the Indominus is not fully assembled here because the tail is separated. But once you get the tail in there, this thing is just, just super massive, okay? Uh, if they continued the line with maybe a dozen more dinos, you might need an extension on your house. Yeah. Okay, over on this side, and uh, here's something exciting. We've got a new wave of Savage Strike Dinos. And this one's called the uh, Mono... Lophosaurus. Yeah. Full marks to the scientist team that gave these dinos their names. And now uh, this wave uh, is mostly repaints, uh, but I do like the colors on this one. Yeah, check out the detailing. And the paint on the body makes it look totally like jungle camouflage. Okay, so uh, this one has biting action, right? That's its uh, savage strike feature which you activate it by pressing down on the creature's tail but you know what um, it kind of looks like it's just talking okay <laughs> yeah hey how are you doing come here often yeah hey how about that better you know uh nice colors but i think the action feature is maybe just a little bit of a letdown Okay, uh, what else do we got here? Uh, we also have the Stiggy Moloch. Now, uh, this is a repaint. The first one was in a dark brown movie color, just like how we saw it in Jurassic World Fallen Kingdom. This one is in a moody gray with some reddish highlights and uh, white paint on the head section. Okay, so it's a Stiggy Moloch. So obviously this thing uh, has head branding action, right? And uh, so you activate it the same way, pressing down on its tail. Check it out. Okay, the feature works pretty smoothly. Now, uh, actually, I think we also have the Stiggy Moloch from the previous wave. Still on shelves. Uh, how about that? Yeah, look at that. No, how about that? We've got them both side by side. You know what, this must be pretty slow to move. Uh, yeah, I mean the last one came out something like last year. But if you didn't get the original, you now have the chance to choose between the color scheme of your choice. So that's not too bad. Okay, now I'm sure there's another one of these new guys here in the back. Yeah, there you go. The uh, Plesiosaurus. Look at that. You know, uh, this is a repaint, uh, but the first version was seldom seen on shelves, man. Uh, let's get a better look at him. He kind of looks like a monster sea turtle. Yeah. But, whoa, look at that face sculpt. Okay, that face sculpt is just totally menacing. It's amazing. Um, so what does he do? Let's see what the box says. Okay, what's his uh, feature? Wait, what? Paddling action? So what, he just moves his flippers? <laughs> yeah, man. Yeah, so, uh, yeah, it looks like he just beats the enemy to death with them. Look at that. But you know what, um, full marks on the full marks on the face sculpt. Okay, the face sculpt is just you know, totally amazing. If, if you wanted a Loch Ness Monster diorama, you know, uh, he's your guy, definitely, you know. 
Just look at that thing. Look at that. Yeah. So the mom puts it. <laughs> Amazing. <laughs> so that's the video, guys. You know, it's great to see some new stuff on the shelves for Jurassic World. And based on all the announcements that we've seen online in the last few weeks, there's going to be a ton of new product coming out and we can't wait to see them in stores and do some coverage as well. Hey, so thanks for joining me guys. Uh, do subscribe to follow all my Toy Store Hunt updates and I'll catch all of you again real soon.